We're out there to serve a community. You ultimately go do what needs to be done because you're going in there to do the right thing. I'm Officer Jason Ross. I have uh, two years on the Seattle Police Department. Uh, Officer Andy Bass. I've been at the Seattle Police Department about a year and a half. Why did I become a police officer? It's just something I always kind of wanted to do. I grew up idolizing police officers and firefighters and people in the military, and it just sort of seemed kind of a natural transition after uh, getting out of the Navy and going to law enforcement. I wanted to be a police officer since I was a kid. I grew up in the Seattle area. I wanted to do three things. I wanted to be a Husky. I wanted to join the Army. I wanted to be a police officer. This job is absolutely what I thought it would be. There's no feeling like it. Every day you go home and you feel like you've actually accomplished something. There are certainly uh, elements of danger to this job. After I'd been a cop for about a year and a half, I had a guy trying to stick a, a knife in my neck. Luckily he missed and just caught the end of my lip and ended up sticking a knife in my arm. And that while a lot of this job is service related, that there certainly is an element of danger. And there are really are bad people who want to hurt you out there. You know, there's times you take somebody to jail for, you know, possession of narcotics or, you know, domestic violence or something. I absolutely feel like we're making a difference in our lives. It may not be the difference that they want at that time. Sometimes that can actually change people. They get the treatment they need, uh, they get the, the counseling they need, and they realize that maybe that's not the path they want to go or down. And maybe it doesn't seem like we're making a difference for them at that time. Later on in life, you meet people that are but now they're in their 50s, and they, no kidding, say, I, I, I'm glad I learned those lessons when I was young. But then there's days where you find a kid's lost bike and you take it to him. Those are differences too. Going to community meetings, meeting the people that are actually in your district, being able to put faces with the houses, property and the vehicles and stuff that you drive by. It's kind of a, a, a nice feeling, kind of a sense of ownership in your own district. It feels nice to help people, and you give people crime prevention tips on ways of maybe adding lighting in their alley or trying to put dowels in their windows so someone can't slide their window open when they're not home. And then in that district, there's no burglaries for six months. Did what you say make a difference? Kind of like you think it did. There's definitely a part of the job that, that kind of wears on you. You know, a lot of times when people call 911, it's quite possibly the worst day of their life. And so us as police officers get to be a part of the worst day of their life repeatedly. We, there was a call and it was a uh, suicidal male had called and said he was in the Forest Lawn Cemetery with a shotgun and if police approached him he was going to shoot himself in front of us. Being the first ones there, Jason got on the PA, started talking to the guy. He never pointed the shotgun at us but he was holding it by the barrel and it looked like he had it pointed directly at his head. And the whole time Jason was just talking to him on the PA. I knew that trying to use his name and trying to just reach him on some sort of personal level, trying to communicate and trying to hold a conversation and trying to get him to have a little more trust in what we were actually trying to do, that we were actually there to help. And eventually got the guy to put it down in the grass and got him, to, uh, got him some mental health treatment. The rewards are, they, they come kind of small, but when a citizen kind of stands up for us, that really makes you feel good because then you really feel like you have some sort of backing. When you're out there, if you feel like you, even one person, and they, they say, hey, we appreciate what these guys are doing, no matter how small it is, whether it's driving up and down the street, whether it's just keeping people out of the alley behind my house, we appreciate what they're doing. Then that gives you a little more pride to stand up and say, you know what, okay, I'm gonna continue on today because what today could be a small part of a bigger thing. And I don't think any of us do this job for the attaboys that, that we may or may not get we can all go home at night knowing that maybe we saved somebody's life tonight. If you can go home at night every day and say, look, what I did was the right thing and I can sleep tonight, then okay. There's a reason that people do this job for over 20, 25, 30, even 40 years. I think it's one of the greatest jobs on earth. There's really no other job I can think of that can compare just the variety of things that we see. It truly is a, a front row ticket to the greatest show on earth, for better or for worse sometimes. We see it all.